stifling any attempt at a scream. The doll's eyes, those cracked, clouded orbs, seemed to glow faintly, reflecting a light I couldn't see, a light from a place beyond my comprehension. I tried to move, to break free from the paralysis that gripped me, but my limbs felt heavy, leaden, unresponsive to my will. My breath grew shallow, ragged. The whisper returned, a rasping murmur that seemed to claw at my sanity, a voice both ancient and impossibly close. It spoke of things best left undisturbed. Panic clawed at my throat, a desperate, silent scream trapped within. My reason, the fragile thread of sanity, began to unravel. The shadow in the corner of the room shifted again, this time more substantial, a dark, formless mass that seemed to writhe and pulse. I felt a cold hand, skeletal and icy, brush against my cheek. My blood ran cold, my heart a frantic drum against my ribs. The pressure on my chest intensified, a crushing weight that threatened to crush the life from my lungs. I gasped for breath, but the air felt thick, poisonous. The doll's smile widened still further, a grotesque parody of mirth. It seemed to feed on my fear, growing stronger with each passing moment. The attic floorboards groaned under a weight I couldn't see, a presence that filled the room with a palpable sense of malice. A chilling gust of wind, though no window was open, swept through the attic, extinguishing the last sliver of moonlight. Complete darkness enveloped me. I was surrounded by a palpable evil, a suffocating dread that threatened to consume me entirely. Hope dwindled, replaced by a chilling certainty. The silence was broken only by my ragged breathing and the faint, rhythmic creaking of the ancient manor, a mournful dirge for my fading sanity. My mind struggled to grasp onto reality, to find a foothold in the descending chaos. I was lost, adrift in a sea of terror. A guttural chuckle, low and chilling, echoed through the darkness. It was the sound of something ancient, something malevolent, something undeniably close. What started as a guttural chuckle, low and chilling, transformed into a blood-curdling